Welcome back. I'm Bill. I've got a quick tip for you today. I'm not in my usual spot. I'm traveling down in the States. I'm in my dad's garage. And I've had lots of questions about uh, polishing nickel fountains. I've made a whole video, put a link up above. Uh, but I still get a lot of questions, and I see a lot of guys in the Facebook groups and forums trying to polish up these old founts. This is an Akron 103 that I picked up this last week. It's about the same vintage as a 327 or 427 quick light, uh, so 1920s or 30s, and typically nickel that old will have this patina on it. I'm not sure what all this is. Some of it may be corrosion, dust, uh, I don't know if there's grease, but you can you can hit this with soap and water or degreaser all day long and it won't do much to it. You have to polish it. And I see guys all the time in the forums uh, talking about using metal polish like mothers on a rag or even with uh, like four aught steel wool. And they'll be polishing away on this for hours and complaining about their hand or their arm hurts because they've been at it so long and they don't really get the results they want. And I keep saying, you need to use some kind of a mild acid bath to get this this patina, this crust off before you start polishing. Uh, even if you use a polishing wheel like I do later in the polishing process, it'll burn through this, but in the process, it's rough. It picks up all this crud, deposits it on your wheel, um, and in the process of burning through this, there's a good chance you'll burn through some nickel as well. You need to get rid of this first. So, quick tip, because when I got this, there was a vertical line here, and what looked like I was, I was sure it was a stress crack in a pinhole. And I was sure because these Akron founts are brass and they're notorious for stress cracks. And so I, I got it back to my dad's place. I pumped it up with a bike pump, did a dunk test. No bubbles, so it's not leaking. So I got really curious yesterday. I was thinking, what's going on there? Um, went looking for some white vinegar. Usually I use citric acid to clean this stuff, but I don't have that here. Uh, my mom's got white vinegar, but I couldn't find it. So I went to the refrigerator. Don't laugh. I grabbed a bottle of ketchup. This stuff has a pH that's just a bit more mild than, than white vinegar. Um, laid this down. I smeared some ketchup on this spot here. It's acidic. Uh, and I left it on for 15 minutes. I wiped it off. I wiped it down with water and rubbed it a bit with a, a clean paper towel. That's the result. I haven't polished this, I've done nothing to this other than I just put a mild acid solution, in this case ketchup, on this, this section of fount. If I'd left it on there longer, it would have eaten through all of this corrosion. Um, I was, again, curious to see what happened. I'm gonna guess when this was in storage for a long time, it was touching something that had an electric, electrolytic reaction that uh, ate through the nickel and left the brass exposed and of course, brass over time gets crusty. So I think that's what happened here. Maybe whatever was touching was touching down here and, or shifted and was touching down here because there's a little tiny spot here. Uh, but the good news is what looked like a stress crack completely disappeared. Um, it was apparently just some kind of discoloring in, in all of this buildup. Uh, and uh, what I thought was maybe a pinhole is just a spot of exposed brass and no bubbles, so that's good. But I just thought this would be a great reminder when you go to polish nickel, especially when it's old and crusty like this, don't just start polishing. Use a mild acid solution. I use citric acid, about one teaspoon per liter of water. Uh, you can use white vinegar. You can even use ketchup. And uh, you can make the solution in a pot and submerse the whole fount, which is great if you need to get the solution inside to clean it up. Or you can soak paper towels and wrap them around the outside and leave it for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Uh, mild acid shouldn't hurt the nickel if you don't leave it on there for too long. And you can see how easily it takes this off. Now, um, I'll, I'll use this lantern for a video at some point in the future. But at this point now, I can take this to the buffing wheel and um, it's ready to polish and this nickel should polish up beautifully. Uh, but if I, if I just tried to power through it and take all this off first, I wouldn't get nearly the same results. So hope that's of interest. I hope it helps. And again, I'll put a link to my main polishing video up above. Thanks for watching.